Hey guys, it's Cameron for the series premiere of the new HBO show, Crashing. This is season one, episode one, Artie Lang, and I really went into the show, uh, just like Big Little Lies, very skeptical, mainly because I didn't really see many previews. I kind of went to this very blind, um, but I was definitely looking forward to it because HBO has been really nailing comedy, especially for... Uh, unknowns like the main star of the show, and I really didn't know how the show was going to be. But I also was excited because I knew this was also the replacement for Togetherness. I know Mark Duplass isn't helming the show, um, but because Togetherness I canceled, this is the show that's replacing it. And I got to say that I overall really enjoyed this premiere. I thought this was a lot of fun overall. I thought this was definitely a very interesting uh, premise. It definitely is something we've seen before, but it definitely did put a fresh new spin on it. Now, let's get to the plot of Crashing, which the plot of it is actually very similar to that of Pete Holmes' actual life. Basically, we start off the show, and you got Pete and his wife, Jess, and they're going through kind of a rough relationship where, uh, basically, you know, things are just not really great between them. He's very focused on him being a comedian, and she's kind of starting to get out of it, and one day he comes home, and his wife has cheated on him, and this gets him to end up leaving his wife and basically start pursuing comedy and basically trying to find a way, um, to essentially, you know, tr basically trying to find a way to, um, you know, to make light of his, you know, tragic, uh, tragic loss, you know, with his wife and everything, with his wife leaving him and him trying to make sense of that. And that basically is a plot of Crashing Overall, but let's just get into the show starting off with the cast. Now, the cast of the show is interesting because even though we did get a few characters in this episode, there really is only one main character. Pete Holmes uh, is basically the guy who is the center of this show. I mean, the entire show is riding on him. And to say that, I mean, it's... It literally means the entire show is riding on him. He is flying solo in this show, and he does an incredible job here. I really do love this character of Pete because, again, like I said, this is very similar to that of Pete Holmes' actual life. At the end of the episode, Pete Holmes said that everything that we're seeing here is kind of the way it played out, and... Pete, in general, I really do like his character. This is someone who is so dedicated to being a comedian, even if he isn't really that funny. He doesn't really have the chops to be a comedian, and people don't really find him as funny and things like that. And he's really trying to come to terms with what happened to him, and I really did like where his character went. I'm not entirely sure where his character is going to go after this first episode, but I'm definitely intrigued. I really like what he did here. It was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, his, just his, uh, thinking process was just very interesting. I really did like his character overall. I thought he was a lot of fun to watch. I definitely really did like where he went, and in general, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they do with him throughout the rest of the show. Now, as far as everyone else goes, like I said, they were definitely very good, but they were, in fact, recurring characters. Uh, Lauren Lapkiss as Jess, I actually really did like her character, because she could have come across as this bitchy type of girl, but they actually did get us to kind of understand where she was coming from, because you start off the show, and... You can see that their relationship is kind of stale. They're having sex, and she's just not as into it because they basically just done the same things over and over again, and she really just wants something new and fresh, and he's just not giving her what she wants. And you get the sense that, you know, she's so out of touch, you know, with what's going on that she does decide to be with this with this other guy, Leaf, who we don't know how he came into play or what exactly happened there. Like, she tries to explain, you know, what happened, but we don't know how she knew Leaf or anything like that, but I really did like her overall. I actually thought she was a pretty good character. I thought that I wasn't going to like her. I thought that she was going to be very annoying, but I actually did kind of understand where she was coming from. Sure, things might be going great for him, and sure, he might have, you know, um, you know, he might feel like this relationship is good and everything, but he doesn't look at the other side of things. Things aren't great for her. You know, she's not successful. She supports him, but as she did say, she felt like she was more of his mother than she was his girlfriend. You know, she was constantly reviving from, constantly telling him to do things, and she didn't feel like they were in an amicable relationship, and I definitely did like where her character went. I thought that she definitely did do a very good job, and I was surprised by how much I actually did like her in this first episode. And then the only other person to really talk about is Artie Lang, who was uh, in the show, and he did a really great job, actually, in this role. I really did like his character. This is basically the guy who, he's not really playing a character because he is playing himself, but he gives Pete the inspiration to pursue comedy and try to go back to his wife, and I like how Artie Lang was actually wrong. Even though he is this comedian, he was wrong. His wife isn't going to take him back, you know, Pete has to accept that. It's sad to see, but I definitely did like where they went with him. I thought he had a lot of fun interactions with Pete. Many times he definitely stole the show. He was very funny here. I definitely really like what he had to do, and I thought their relationship in general was just a lot of fun to watch, and I can't wait to see where they're going to go throughout the rest of the show. 
So that's really it when it comes to the cast. I really, like I said, think everyone did a good job. Now let's get to the directing and the writing, because like I said, uh, this entire show is helmed by Pete Holmes. He does everything. He does the directing, the writing. The only thing he really didn't do was the producing, because Judd Apatow actually was the one who helmed this first episode, and he did a pretty good job directing it. I really did like his tone throughout here, because he starts off, and yeah, it's a lot of fun, but he definitely sets this up as you know things are going to go south very fast. Uh, there's a lot of foreshadowing here, and I definitely did get that. And I thought the the, uh, the last year, you know, the comedy was really on par. I was very much laughing throughout this entire episode. I thought it was a lot of fun. And he took something that could have been very dramatic, and he made a lot of fun. And I really did like the way that he had, he tried to make light of it. I thought that definitely worked pretty well. And I thought that the story in general actually really did get into with Pete losing this girl and him wanting to go back to her, but him realizing they just couldn't do that, I thought was a very well done story. But I even like more about the writing is what it really has to say about stand-up comedy, which Pete Holmes, who is an actual, you know, stand-up comedian, knows a lot about, especially when it comes to that of comedy, because 99% of the time, comedy is made up of experience of your own misery. It's taking something that's really, really shitty that just happened to you and turning it into something funny. And I've always found that quite fascinating about comedy. The way that stand-up comedians have so much pressure to find something funny, they just make light out of something terrible that happened, and it really is a good coping mechanism for them, which you can definitely see with Pete. You know, Pete, he does what he can to try to make light of the situation, but no one's really willing to listen to him, no one really finds him funny, and I actually like that he failed. I want to see this character fail. That's what a good character has to do. A character has to go through an arc, and as we can see, Pete is failing. Pete isn't funny yet. He still needs to have, you know, he needs to get his mojo back. He needs to have the comedic edge to him, and I'm interested in seeing really where he's going to go throughout the show, and they said, um, you know, in the behind-the-scenes feature that the show really is all about these terrible things that happen to him and trying to make light of it, and that's something I thought was very well done. My favorite scene by far in this uh, premiere, without a doubt, has to be Pete trying to do stand-up comedy and everyone laughing at him. Uh, one, because they don't realize that it's actually true what he's saying. Also, because they don't find him funny. They're not laughing at him. They live with him. They're laughing at him. And... And this is horrible humiliation for him. And they really did get into how much pressure it is to go on a stage and actually make people laugh. Because, yeah, there is a lot of pressure with that. Everyone's, you know, waiting for you to make a joke. Everyone has never seen you before. You're, in a, you're with a bunch of people who you've never seen before. And your task is to make them laugh. And it's honestly not the easiest thing to do. Now, I'm no stand-up comedian, but I particularly have trouble with, you know, trying to make people laugh. I do have trouble with that because it's, you know, com comedy is timing. Comedy is experience. Comedy is not just, you know, saying something. You have to say it in the right way, and that's something that Pete really is trying to do very well here. And I really did like his desperation with that. I thought they portrayed that very well in this first episode, and I really did enjoy that over overall. My only complaint, and this isn't really a complaint with the show, I just don't really know where the show's going to go from here, honestly. I, I liked where this first episode went, but where are we going to go? I'm guessing Pete's going to continue to do comedy and things like that, but I don't really know where, like, characters like, uh, you know, where characters like Jess is going to go. She's going to be in the show still, uh, but I don't really know where they're going to go besides here. I'm interested in seeing really where we're going to go uh, besides this, but I overall really was impressed with what we got here. I really did enjoy this first episode. I think there are a lot of places that this show can go. And I'm hoping that Pete Holmes really does think of all the possibilities with this show because there really are a lot of possibilities for where the show can go, especially when it comes to comedy, and especially because this is something that is so personal for him. You can tell in every way this is a personal show. Hell, in the featurette, he said he turned the show into an HBO show because he was he didn't think he was funny. He didn't think that his comedy was funny, and he wanted people to see his misery, and this is kind of a coping mechanism for him. Now, I don't know if his wife actually left him or whatnot. I don't know much about Pete Holmes' life. But I'm willing to bet that Pete has definitely had significant pitfalls, and because of that, he's doing whatever he can to try to make himself laugh, and this show is for that reason. I very much do give him credit for doing that. I love that this is all his personal experience. I love how much of a passion project this is for him, and you can really see how personal of a story this really is. I definitely really love the way it was done. I overall really did love the first episode, and I am going to give Crashing Season 1, Episode 1, Artie Lang, a 4 to 5 or a B+. Plus. So far, guys, we might have the series premiere of Crashing. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode overall. Love your thoughts on it. Do you like where the show is going? Are you going to continue to stick with the show? I definitely am going to watch the rest of the season. There's only eight episodes, so it's really not that bad. But that's in my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in my next video, which will be for tonight's episode of Supergirl. And I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.